welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would share with you a sort of festive Christmassy makeup look as I know that on Christmas Day itself I definitely do like to put in a little bit of an extra effort with my makeup and make it look nicer than I would on a day to day basis. However I'm also going to be showing you quite a simple easy makeup look to follow but one that just is a step up from your everyday makeup routine. So I really do hope that you enjoy this video and like the look that I create and let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to start by taking my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in the shade Nude Beige and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my hand and then apply this to my face using a damp beauty blender. I honestly love Christmas time so much, it's honestly one of the best times of year and everyone's in such a, ooh, <laughs> sorry I'm just opening the mirror, such a great mood, I just love it so much. I love I think the build up to Christmas is like the best thing about it to be honest. Let me know what you're liking about Christmas if you love this time of year as well. And also your favourite Christmas films to watch, what your Christmas day plans are as well, if you're with family or friends, and what you like to get up to on Christmas day. Honestly, just find this time of year so great. Also hope you're enjoying my cute little Christmas tree that I've got going on in the background there. Getting in the festive spirit, you know. I'm now just going to take my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. I am still loving this. I don't know when I'll move on to using another concealer, just because this one is so good and so affordable. If you still haven't got around to trying it, then you definitely need to give it a go. I think I've got one of the more common shades because it's often either limited stock or, or sold out in shops. So if you need shade C4, sometimes hard to get a hold of but you can usually find it i'm just gonna blend this concealer in using my little triangle sponge let me also know what your favorite thing about christmas day itself is and what you look forward to what the best bit about your christmas meal is if you go full out if there's anything that's like typical on a Christmas meal that you don't like, let me know all of that good stuff. I'm now just going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the shade number 5 which is Silky Beige and I'm just going to apply this all over my face using this massive brush which is great for just sort of dusting loose powders or setting powders like this one over your face. Again this is another core product that I just always use let me know if you have products like that which you just get into a rhythm of using and then you just never really change them up because you like them so much <laughs> i'm now just going to take my nyx highlight and contour pro palette and start by using this shade here down at the bottom and to apply this i will take if i can find it here it is my real techniques contour brush and i'm just going to apply this under my cheekbones either side just grab the mirror I nearly went to put the brush in the eyeshadow palette instead. <laughs> then I'm also just going to apply a little bit of this along my forehead as well as a bit down either side of my nose before then finally now just dusting some along my jawline. Also let me know if you've asked for anything in particular for Christmas this year or what's on your Christmas wish list or what you've bought other people actually no they might see it I was gonna say or let me know what you've bought other people but that's a bad idea you should let me know that just in case they happen to see it or something <laughs> I'm now just going to move on to the yellow shade from this NYX palette and I'm just gonna apply a bit of this to the center of my chin to my nose to my forehead and a bit under my eyes as well the sun's actually starting to shine through. Oh, I'm so happy about that. It's been such a rainy week and there's actually blue sky right now. That just makes me so happy. It's crazy how much the sun can affect your mood. As soon as I see sunshine, it just instantly lifts my mood. Sad thing is, it's not going to be out for long because it gets dark so early now as well. I am then now going to take this shade along here and apply that just to the centre of the areas where I have applied the yellow. I'm now going to use my Tanya Burr Cosmetics Peachy Glow Cheek Palette and for this one I am going to take my Real Techniques Buffing Brush to apply this bronzer to the outer edges of my face in sort of three shape around here. I don't think they make this anymore, let me know because mine is 
really running out and it's like my everyday go-to so let me know if you can still buy it anywhere but I don't think you can sadly. I'm now also going to take the blush from this palette and just apply a bit of that to my cheeks as well either side. I'm now going to take the pink shade from my H&M highlight palette, so I'm going to use this one here and I'm also going to take my Body Shop fan brush to apply this to my cheekbones and then I'm also just going to pop a bit of this down the centre of my nose, to the tip of my chin and the centre of my forehead. And I'll just bring that around down the side of my eyes as well onto my cheeks. I'm doing a great job of covering my jeans and those are makeup. Good job today, I wore dark ones because I normally make the mistake of wearing either like a white top or light coloured trousers whenever I do a makeup video and they just end up covered. I'm now going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde to just fill out my eyebrows, just quickly brush through them and then just go around their natural outline using this eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to prime my eyes using the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base and I'll just use the ones that it comes with to blob a little bit of this onto each of my eyelids. Does anyone else have the problem with like really veiny eyelids and it's just so annoying whenever you go to apply eyeshadow but you know you just gotta make it work, a primer is always necessary. For my eyes I'm going to be using my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette just because I think there's so many pretty stunning shades in here especially for Christmas Day. There's just so many shimmery, browny, bronzy and golden shades in here so definitely think this is a good one to go for for a Christmas Day look. And I'm just going to start by taking my Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush and I am just going to apply the shade Booty Cool, which is the third one along here and just apply that all over my eyelid. I'm now going to take the shade Half Baked, which is this golden shade here, the second one along, and I'm using the Real Techniques Shading Brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the outer half of my eyelid. I was about to say, let me know if you've put your Christmas tree up yet, but I'm guessing by this time most people probably will have. Let me know if you actually haven't got around to it yet and what theme you've gone for if you have put it up, if you have a theme or if you just like to throw everything and anything on there. Let me know what you do with your Christmas tree. I honestly love putting up the tree, it's one of the best things to do and gets you in such a festive mood. The whole end of my brush is now golden, it looks pretty though. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that out using my NYX blending brush. So I'm now just going to take the Real Techniques crease brush and apply the shade Chopper which is such a beautiful shade, it's this one here, the fourth one along and it's sort of like a goldeny rose gold kind of colour and I just absolutely love it and I'm just going to apply this to my crease of my eye. So like at Christmas you just have to go in with the shimmer eyeshadows. Everything has to just be that little bit extra glittery and sparkly. <laughs> I've literally got glitter going everywhere if you can see my jeans right now. I'm gonna finally take the shade, uh, which I'm so just looking at, I got distracted by the glitter. I'm gonna go for the shade Suspect, which is right in the middle over here, just to finish this off. And I'm just gonna apply this right into the outer corner of my eye, just to darken the corner a little bit. Once again, I'm just going to blend that all out using my NYX blending brush. I'm now just going to finish off my eyes using my Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And I am just going to, as usual, apply two layers to my top eyelashes and then one layer to my bottom eyelashes. I know I mentioned this like in my last makeup video I did, but I have been using an eyelash serum recently and honestly it's made such a difference. Like it's made my eyelashes really like uplift and I've never had to use an eyelash curler in the past couple of months just because it already makes them like really curled up and just yeah they look so much better than they did before, I can really see an improvement. If you're wondering what on it I've got, it's called Long For Lashes, and it's on like Amazon, and it really doesn't cost that much, I think it was like 20 pound or something, or it might have even been less than that, and it's just honestly incredible. You use it for four months, just putting it on every night, and then 
you just use it after you've completed the four months treatment I think you then use it sort of two to three times a week I've pretty much reached the four month treatment now I'm more or less there with it I think I need to actually check when I started but it was some point in the summer so I'm pretty much there with my four months now I think so yeah then you just use it two or three times a week to just keep it up it might be three to four times a week actually I can't remember I need to check that but you don't then need to apply it every night once you've reached the end of the four months and it comes in a tiny little bottle but it lasts forever like I've still got some of the product left and I've, like I said I've basically been using it for the four months now I really didn't think that it would last to be honest so finally for lips I am going to use my NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade cherry skies of course got to go in with the festival red lip to complete a festive makeup look. I mean Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without a red lip going on. Let me know if there's any sort of set shades or colours or products that you use always on Christmas because I know I definitely go to a red lip quite often for Christmas day I'm not gonna lie and also I love these NYX ones because as it is a cream liquid lipstick it then sets and it's matte and when you're eating all your food and having your big meal and stuff it doesn't get everywhere which is just exactly what you want and it also doesn't fade either which is always a great thing you could and this always looks funny when I've just got like a little bit on and talk but you could always use now it's gone a bit onto my top this looks so odd right now but you could always use a bit of lip liner as well to help it further stay in place and last longer too. And then my fave makeup tip is just to go like this with your finger to get rid of all the excess on the inside of your lips and then that should stop it from going onto your teeth or at least help as you notice I already have some on this tooth from where I was applying it but this definitely makes sure that less ends up on your teeth than it actually normally would and that is my finished festive makeup look so I really do hope that you enjoyed this video be sure to smash a big thumbs up if you did don't forget to also click on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel as well as tapping on that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload and don't forget to also tag me in your pictures or tweet me them if you do give this look a go or create your own version of it or show me some of your festive makeup looks as well I'd love to see them all my socials are always linked down below so make sure you head over there give me a follow on all my socials so you can get weekly updates and daily updates of what I'm doing and what's going on in my life if you want to know <laughs> and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video bye